Let's start with the NFC North. What is your prediction on the North? I'm going to go with the Packers. I'm going to go with the Packers. Um, let's see. This could be Aaron Rodgers last year. And just like every other year, he has something to prove. <laughs> so I think uh, – I think Aaron, uh, I think uh, Aaron Rodgers and the Packers are going to take it. Even though I won't be surprised if like the Detroit Lions. Wow. I, I'm not saying they're going to win, okay, or take the division. Okay. But I will say, don't be surprised if they shake things up. I mean, they just got uh, Hutchinson, right? So they got really young talent on the defensive end, and so I'm looking forward to see what the Detroit Lions will do. Uh, I'm with you on the NFC North. That is going to be the Green Bay Packers. I think a lot mm -hmm. of people are, are already in that boat where let's write them off. They're not going to do anything. Who's mm -hmm. Aaron Rodgers going to throw to? I, and I think they actually won a game last year against the Arizona Cardinals where Devontae Adams was hurt. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think their second guy as well. Marquez Valdez Scantling was hurt as well. So they didn't have a lot of receivers. They just threw the ball 11 times to Aaron Jones, the running back. Um, they just get it done. And for Matt LaFleur, the head coach, to make it to the NFC Championship for three straight years when people are like, you're not improving the team, you're not helping Aaron Rodgers out, you're not drafting weapons, you're not signing anyone, and they still make it to the Final Four, I mean, it's got to be the Green Bay Packers. So mm. I'm with you on that. Okay. Um, what about the NFC South? Jameson just got eye surgery, so I mean, I'm... <laughs> but I, yeah, well, <laughs> wow, you were keeping up with the littlest of details. The littlest, <laughs> I, like, listen. Oh, he got eye surgery? Bet. He's good now. He's good now. 2020, bro. 2020. <laughs> 2020. <laughs> so the Saints? Yeah. Wow. Okay. Who that? So is it because of the offense, the defense? Like, what What do you think is, like, the best the, part? Their offense, for sure. Okay. Offense. Still got Kamara behind. Okay, so the Saints. I mean, that's definitely a runner-up for me. And yeah. I could actually see it happening. I'm still going to have to stick with the Bucks yeah. with this. I mean, it's just, unless something happens, I know that Tom Brady's been taking vacations and, you know, you ask yourself, okay, him coming back, is his heart really in it? I know for Tom Brady, that's kind of like questioning, okay, well, you can't question the guy's heart. Absolutely. He's made a career proving people wrong, showing off his heart and his grit. But that is the only thing that I could see being wrong for the Bucks is if Tom Brady is not like fully 100% in it. Yeah. You know, which I mean, do you think that could be a possibility? I mean, from what I heard, he's talking about balling until he's 50. And I, I, I just don't know. Like, we're still young, but we're getting older, right? And I can tell you, oh, I still feel young, but my bones are screaming, no, we're not. Like, we're not still young. And I feel like this year, we're going to hear Tom Brady's bones show their age. You're speaking for yourself at the ripe age of, what is it, 27? 28. 28. Brother. Dude, that's that's when it All goes I'm downhill. Saying, my my back hurt. My, I got knee issues that I'm working on. So, yeah. I No. I, <laughs> I'm 29. So, you know, 30 is the – because your body knows yeah. age, obviously. Like 30, the day you turn 30, it's going to be rough. Um but, yeah, I'm going to have to stick with the Buccaneers, um, even though they lost some pieces on defense. Lost Chris Godwin. Gronk. They did. And Chris Godwin's going to be out for maybe a month. I don't know. Not sure yet. But I'm still going to have to stick with the Bucs. Yeah. Uh, what about the NFC East? I thought you wanted me to say the Falcons. No. no okay. Th listen, That's we're, this show is filmed in Atlanta, so we are – Actually, Anthony has emceed for the Atlanta Falcons a couple yes, times. Yes, so. I have. That was a great experience. That was that's awesome. Um, but back when they were kind of good in the uh, Super Bowl year, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but, it was, but it was good times, man. It was good times. It was good times. Uh, the NFC East. I'm gonna stick with my team. I'm going with my G men. Uh huh. You heard okay. it right here first. Ooh, Danny Giants. Dimes. Giants, okay. Danny dimes, let's go. Even with Pigeon Toe Jones, we gonna go all the way. Uh, Eagles and the Cowboys. I feel like between yeah. who's gonna win the NFC East, my prediction is gonna be the Cowboys. Now, why do you say the Giants? Is it just because just because I'm a fan? Just because if, if I wasn't a fan, I would have to go with the Cowboys. Unfortunately, but 
they're, they're just they're not closers. They choke constantly over and over and over again. Yeah, I don't know if you remember the uh, – was it the wild card or the divisional round? I think it was the wild card. Uh, Cowboys and 49ers when they were coming back and Dak needed to spike the ball. Yes. Yes. So, I mean, that's – I think we were know, watching that game together. I think we were. Maybe. We were. I don't know. I watch Possibly. a lot of games with a lot of people. Yeah, 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 yeah. But but that was crazy. The time management there was very poor. Yeah, I don't know what was up. I don't. I think Mike McCarthy had a plan, and then no. I don't know what happened. But I mean, if they won that game, then all of a sudden you could be talking about maybe the Cowboys could have won the division round. Maybe they made the NFC Championship. Mm-hmm. I think they're still a very talented team, even though they lost Amari Cooper, Michael Gallup's going to be out for maybe two to four weeks or so. But yeah, the West, the West, that's the what West, it is. the West, the Rams all day. Mm. Rams all day. Even though you're talking about uh, Stafford's tennis elbow. <laughs> I don't know if it's tennis elbow. <laughs> something like that. Something like Tendinitis, that. Tennis, <laughs> tennis, something. It's, it's all the same. I just feel like he's going to come back. He's going to come back and do his thing. Mm-hmm. Do another uh, repeat. And, yeah, the Rams are going to take it. I've got the Rams as well. But I'm trying to think of competition that could dethrone i know the cardinals you never know what you can they're, expect from them the seahawks are, yeah but yeah the cardinals the seahawks and the 49ers who made it all the way to the you go. nfc championship i mean this never know what to expect with kyle shanahan mm-hmm. they didn't expect them to go that far but i am with you that it is going to be the la rams 